All right, we're here with Dr. Troy Mitchell of Mitchell's Medical Mission. And um, part of what is happening at Drexel is not just the football side, but allowing the young ladies to have medical for back to school. Dr. Mitchell, just tell us a little bit about what you are doing, what is your role, and what is happening here at Drexel. Well, my role is very easy for this trip, Omar. Um, healthy young athletes and they have sports physicals and I guess back to school forms so um, any kids that need it done it's, it's very easy to do a quick physical on them they're all healthy they're in great shape good teeth good hair good heart it all sounds very easy so um, then we fill out the forms for them and hopefully that's one less thing that the parents will have to do later and, and how, how important is offering this kind of service to you uh, because I'm very sure that there are many other things you probably could be at home in this case doing yeah. with a sacrifice time right. to come here and to do this. How important is it to you and your family? Well, you know, we've been doing this for about 20 years now, medical missions down here in Jamaica. Um, we haven't reached out for the sport so much, but with the kids getting older and Mia into her soccer and some of our kids, you know, are no longer home, um, it's getting harder, especially with COVID, to get a complete medical team down here. Hard to get a dentistry team. It's hard to get other doctors to come. Um, now that COVID's lifted a little bit, still the inflation, the cost of flights and everything, is much more difficult to get a big 60-man team down here to do so much. But um, So we try to do what we can just to, just to help out. You know, we have a heart for Jamaica. Um, Mia loves Jamaica. She wants to... Michael wants to move here, you know, the family just wants to be here all the time. So we thought this might make a difference and try to get girls interested in, you know, reggae girls earlier, you know, and get them, start finally developing those skills. So, um, you know, initially it was to help build up the churches and to bring people to Jesus. And we're still doing that, of course, with your help. Um, but we thought maybe hitting the younger kids and going through the sports might be helpful too. Wonderful, and it's, it's such a pleasure having you serving in this capacity and you know, some parents are receiving some money because they will not have to pay for the medicals and the girls. They are enjoying themselves on the football inside. But are there plans to do this again or this is just a one off? Oh no no. Well we plan to do this again. We're hoping to get several Mia's um, I guess teammates from North Carolina. A couple of them couldn't get here because of passport issues. Um, I'm sure once Mia finishes up this next year of high school and gets to the University of Maryland, which she plans to be attending. I'm sure she'll be bringing, you know, college teammates down here too at some point. This, this won't be the last and only trip of this nature. So um, hopefully maybe even Jody Brown will be joining at some point. You just never know, you know. Uh, if we can get, get uh, Bunny Shaw back. I know she's busy in Europe and now with the reggae girls, but they're all family, you know. So hopefully we'll get them down here at some point. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Mitchell. Really a pleasure having you here, and you're doing a great service to the parish of St. Anne and Jamaica, uh, to our young ladies. And then we hope to see you again next year, the year after, and the year after, and the year after. <laughs> That's year right. After. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Thank you, Pastor Omar. It was a pleasure talking to you. Likewise.